Hey guys, and welcome to another Sonically Sound video. Last week we went over reverb, and today I'm going to show you how to use delay. We're going to be using the same track, but I just wanted to show you how delay worked and how it can complement reverb as well. So delay is kind of similar to reverb. Delay is like an echo, so delay is repeating a signal, um, and basically it can create a space just like a reverb would. Um, and the beauty with digital delay is we have a lot more control over it than we, we used to um, back with analog. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna be using the same track and basically we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna send it to a bus. And like I said last time, the reason we send it to a bus is because we then have more control of the mix. We can make the delay completely wet and not have to do a dry wet mix and also we can send all of the vocals um, to one delay rather than having to make an individual delay for each channel strip. We can send it to one area where it's always the same, it's the mixed the same way and everything. And it means we get better control if we want to put EQ and stuff on it. Um, you don't always have to, but it means there's the option of doing that. So I've sent it to a new one, I've sent it to 23. So then you go on here, delay, now there are quite a few delay options here. My preference is tape delay. So tape delay is how we used to use delay. Um, basically it was a reel of tape and then they'd repeat a certain point and record over it so it would create some sort of delay. So that's the one I like to use. There's loads of other ones. Um, so feel free to kind of experiment, have a play with them. But for this example, I'm gonna be showing you the tape delay as that's the one I like to use. So you might be seeing the interface and uh, depending on what kind of skill level you're on, this might make complete sense or you might be completely lost. But don't worry, I will explain the key parts of the interface. So you've got your main delay bit here. So this is obviously the key part. This is the main part of the delay. So. Fortunately, there's this button called Tempo Sync, and that's the best part about working on a DAW. You can just uh, set the tempo, so as long as the tempo on the track is right, um, then you just sync it, and it will definitely be in time with the track. Uh, then you see that there are all these different notes around the side. Now, these are different duration of notes. Um, so you've got a semi-breathe, which is a whole bar, so that's quite a long repeat basically so if the signal starts on bar one the repeat signal will start on bar two so depending on how fast the tempo is for your song that's quite long then the next one is half and it does say here what it is um so that's half so that would be um that would be half of the bar so if it starts on bar one halfway through the bar it will repeat then quarter so the same as the half but it's quarter eighth sixteenth so 16th is quite quick. If you ever use 16, you'll probably notice there's not a load of reverb on it. I sometimes use 16ths on a vocal to just thicken it. So not even to use it for a delay reason, but it makes it sound a lot thicker because it's so quick and so straight after the original signal. Or you can use it, I've used it on backing vocals to make it sound like there's more than one of them. So it was kind of sounded like a crowd of people and that's quite useful. The ones I normally go for are eighths or quarters depending on how you want the repeats to go. Um, and again, it's all a matter of experimentation. Now you might notice there are also these dots in between. So these are quarter triplets or eighth dotted and so you've got to you've got to have a listen to it to see how it sounds i tend to not use them so i think we're going to stick with quarter note for now but we'll see how that sounds um so let's just give it a play with that i'm in love with the shape of you we push and pull like a magnet like do. i know my heart know is my heart falling, is falling too. too i'm in love with, I'm your, in body. Love with your body so that's how it sounds. I mean, I've got the bus mixed really high, but that's just so that you can clearly hear what what is going on. The other important part is feedback. So feedback uh, tells you how many repeats there are. Uh, it gives you it in percentage, but you can just kind of play around and figure out how it goes. So 16%, if I just play a little tiny bit. So it only repeats a few times. However, if I put it up to 60, it's gonna repeat loads. Mm. 
and that might be the style you want to go for but for me uh in this i don't want it going on too long i want it to be quite a tight sound so i'm going to stick with 16 percent now the output um it will do this automatically if you send it to a bus so it's got dry at zero percent and wet at 100 percent. that's what we want if you had it uh just in your regular channel strip you'd have to do a mix of it but we just want completely wet mix there are some other controls here and they're they're kind of you can play around with them if you want but the only other one that's really important is this here basically uh, you can see it says low cut and high cut and it's got 20 hertz to uh, 20 kilohertz basically what this does is you can tell the delay what frequency what group of frequencies it should play in the repeat which means it doesn't have to sound like an exact repeat so if I put this back up so it's going to repeat loads but if I take it down like that so it's only going to be playing 20 hertz to 1.1 kilohertz so you can hear there that it was only playing the lower frequencies and that's quite nice sometimes you don't always you want it to be uh, not as clear you don't want it to be sounding exactly like the original signal and it still is recognizable so i probably won't do it as much as that and i'll probably get rid of some of the really low bits but it's just a matter of seeing what what you think sounds best uh, so let's do that now okay so i'm probably going to bring it a bit lower so it's only doing the repeats so the repeats are really loud at the moment and that's because of the bus so i'm going to bring it down like that and it's probably better that way it'll be a lot more discreet if it's lower down I'm in love with the shape of you We push and pull like a magnet do I know my heart is falling too I'm in love with your body Last night you were in my room And now my bed she smells like you Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with your body Oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. So you can hear there that it's still a bit discreet um, it's kind of coming through a lot more and it's maybe you might think that's really intrusive on the actual vocal and it is however like the reverb that we went through last time once the whole band are playing it's not going to sound like that you're not going to just hear the vocal and the reverb it will kind of the rest of the instruments will drown it out however you might want it to be louder during the uh during the quiet bit so when she does the ooh i ooh i bit you might want the sound to be a lot louder you might want the delays to come out a lot louder um and so you might have to bring it up however it's kind of you just have to keep playing with it until you get the right sound so that way it it sounds it sounds good it sounds like it's repeating itself and stuff but it's not um intrusive and but it's creating a bit of a space and a bit of interest for the track and really that's what delay is all about um it's just creating interest for the track creating a space alongside the reverb and you can see there that i i'm complementing the delay with the reverb and it works really well um i could if i wanted to do an eq um on this delay but the thing is is it i've kind of got an eq thing here it's not as specific but that's all i really need for for the delay so let's have a listen to what it actually sounds like all together i'm just going to mute this one because this is the full track i'm in love with the shape of you the push and pull like a magnet do i know my heart is falling too i'm in love with your body last night you were in my room and now my bed she smells like So there you can kind of hear that um, the delay was there, it was heard, it wasn't too intrusive, but then when she did the ooh-ai bit, it came through really nicely and it blended really well. So you don't just put delay on vocals, you can put it on loads of stuff. Um, you can put it on guitars if you want. I mean, I'm sure you know that people will have guitar pedals that deal with the delay. Um, so I'm not too bothered as a mixing engineer to put in a delay because normally the guitarist will do that do it themselves and i mean you can do it for loads of stuff and feel free to give it a go be creative i'm not saying you shouldn't do it 
on a guitar or I'm or on drums or whatever feel free to give it a go but it's um, up to you really um, but vocals are the typical ones that as a mixing engineer you'd probably add to it um, and depending on what other stuff you want but yeah so this is just a guide really and how I would do it my general practice of doing it um, so feel free to explore I just want to kind of give you an insight into one how to do it and how it kind of works and what you might kind of want to expect to hear so yeah that's really how you would use delay on a vocal i hope you liked that video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you think i missed anything if you think there's uh, some videos that i haven't done that you want seen put it in the comments and i'll see if i can get to it on that uh we got some other videos on like i said we got from last week, watch that please subscribe